I'll tell you a bit about myself, guys. I'm quite a quiet person on stage. Um, and, uh, you know, it's because I'm not a very intelligent person, right? It's because my grandmother told me as a kid, it is better to be assumed a fool than open your mouth and remove all doubt. <laughs> I'll let you not reveal that you're dickheads. You'll never know with me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's a lot of benefits that come with being quiet, you know, for me as a black guy. Being quiet as a white guy, very difficult existence. Not something I would like to be a part of personally. You know, because you're at a party, there's a quiet white guy mudding his business. People start bitching, man. They go, look at that creep, Tim, sat over there. <laughs> Fuck off home with your anxiety, Tim. <laughs> How are you going to say all those horrible things about man like Tim? <laughs> and then when it comes to me, you go, oh, wow, look at my moon sat over there. Emitting such a mysterious urban aura. <laughs> you know, I mentioned my grandparents, right? And, uh, you know, my grandfather, he moved to this country in the 1950s. You know, my grandfather's a genius. He, so he had a scholarship to go to UCL. Um, he comes from a nation called Sierra Leone. And, um, but he dropped out, though, of UCL and became a baker. But the first part of that story is very inspirational. Right, that, <laughs> that's the part you should take. Forget about the con conclusion of that story. Obviously, you can see through that stuttering. I didn't go to UCL. But, <laughs> and you can always kind of gauge the socioeconomic level of the crowd based on the reaction to that joke. You guys are clearly doing quite well. You think it's funny that people can be bakers. <laughs> In Manchester, that joke doesn't get quite the same reception, I'll be honest. <laughs> The crowd looked really angry at me when I tried it up there. They said, your granddad was a baker. What's so fucking funny about that, lad? <laughs> he helped rebuild this country after the war for push bastards like you. <laughs> they do the accent way better than me. <laughs> so, you know, my mum was, you know, my mum, uh, you know, had my mum as a result. And my mum, you know, grew up in this really racist neighborhood known as the 70s. Wild place. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy place, man. And um, my aunt told me, you know, about some of the stories that used to happen to them when they were in school, you know? They went for a lot of, like, overt racial abuse. And I felt really bad when my aunt was telling me some of these stories because on this particular day, I complained to her about being cyberbullied, right? And then she told me about how people used to bully people in the 70s, and then I concluded, the internet has really improved bullying, man. <laughs> like, honestly, like, when she told me that they used to get eggs thrown back at them, you know, at their house when they're way back from school, getting repeatedly poked on Facebook by someone I kind of don't like, really doesn't seem that bad in comparison. That's how I like to end this set. No laughs. Thank you. <laughs>